Sometimes I get a workbook with people's names that are in separate columns. But I might want to combine the first and last names into a full name for mass mailings. or full names separated by a comma. I can use the ampersand operator to connect cell references, such as B2 and A2, or to combine text, such as Sarah and Davis. But this isn't exactly how I want this to look. See how the names are squished together? I need a space between the names. I add a space character by typing a space enclosed in quotation marks. I'll insert it right after this ampersand. Now I need one more ampersand to connect this space with Davis. Instead of stringing together ampersands, I can use the concatenate worksheet function. If I have a lot of cells to combine, like these four parts of an address, the street address, city, state, and zip code, it can be easier to use the concatenate function instead of typing the ampersand again and again. I start typing concatenate and Excel senses what I want, so I'll press Tab to finish the name of the function, and then I can start adding elements. I'll add E2, a space, so I type a space inside quotation marks, a comma, F2, another space inside quotation marks, you can see that I'm separating the street address from the city from the state with spaces, G2, and then I want a comma followed by a space, and then, and then the zip code, which is in H2. So I'll type a quotation mark, a comma, a space, a closing quotation mark, a comma, and then H2. and you can see how nice that looks. And I'll go ahead and just fill that down to these other rows, and then I'll do the same thing with the full names. One last thing. If you look at the names and the cells that they're in, they're all formulas. Same thing with the addresses. Now that I've combined them into full names and full addresses, I want to make them permanent text instead of formulas. This is really easy to do. I'll just select all these cells that contain formulas and copy them by going up here and clicking Copy or pressing Control C. And now you can see that they're copied. And now I'll click Paste. And right here under Paste Values, see this one, two, three clipboard? I'll click that and that pastes the actual value into the cell replacing the formula. Now if I go ahead and click the cells, you can see there are the actual full names and the full addresses and they've replaced the formulas. I love it that it can be so easy to clean up the data in my workbook.